Hi guys, welcome once again. We're going to do a review of The Real Housewives of Lagos, episode four. So the beginning of the show, um, we all know where it ended last time. Um, there was a big fight between Caroline and, let's say, Carol and, um, and Laura. And um, that didn't go well, but yeah, Laura decided to apologize to Carol and say she understands um, a mom being passionate about her kid and that talking about kids is something that goes too far and it's off topic. Okay, we get that. What happens next is that Chioma decides to also add in her two cents and to say whilst um, Laura is going to try to get the stories down uh, of Carol, maybe it would be a good idea if uh, Laura's sister Linda would also um, pull the stories down on on Kika. Kika is a friend of Chioma and then left. Um, Laura started cussing Chioma out, cussing Kika out, and La um, yeah, Chioma has something like, okay, why is Laura coming with this bad energy over here? It's not someone that I want to have in my presence. So it started getting chaotic. They start cussing each other out. And Laura is someone I like, but in this scene, I was... I I really thought, Laura, what's going on? Do you have like a jealousy thing going on with Chioma? I think, I personally think I'm a very likable person. But then if I don't know you for the first time, I'll probably just, I won't give you an attitude, but I'll just, you know, keep my cool first before, you know, jumping on your body like I do. So I thought that was a little bit off. So next thing you know, we see Toyin and Iabo do a little lighthearted sketch just to get the attention of the drama. One thing I can say about the sketch, it didn't have salt, it didn't have pepper, it was bland. So it's a good thing the meditation coach came through to get uh, to ease off the, the tension that was in the group. After they did the little meditation session, they also decided to play a game. So two truths and one of them, no, two truths and one thing that's being said uh, is a lie so they tell three things and two things are truthful and one is a lie so then everybody was vibing and then they came to laura and laura said something and one of the things that she said is that she wanted to delete choma and i was like really laura don't you have anything else to do she's being a negative betty constantly i'm like hmm, whatever Turns out uh, Laura was playing around when she said she, you know, wanted to do something to Chioma. So they decided to fake make up. So they were doing extra nice to each other, giving each other kisses, giving each other a hand. But as we can see in the confessionals, they don't really trust each other. But they were just, for the form, acting like... They wanted to be friendly, just not to ruin the mood at the event any further. So we go to the place of business of Choma and um, she's going to organize an event, but it's like a big question mark where they're going to go. She's going to invite all the ladies and a plus one. She's also going to invite Laura. So yeah, I'm quite interested in how this trip is going to work and how everybody's going to interact with each other. But what was really touching in this episode is that one of the workers of Choma, Jeffrey, um, he got into an accident and his arm needs to be amputated and or he gets like um, a prostate. Uh, like what they did is made like a, a surrogate, surrogate air arm for him to wear and it was really uh, how can you say it it really looked um lifelike what they did is try to make an arm that resembled the arm that he he lost and it was really a touching moment to see how choma cares about her employees also has a big heart remember we're in a setting with six women and sometimes they're catty against each other but that doesn't really have to resemble who they are in um, reality, because it's a dynamic between the ladies that sometimes makes that they're 
acting a certain way, a little bit or a little bit standoffish, but that of course doesn't have to say a lot about who they really are in real life. So that's something that we have to keep in mind, loosely have to keep in mind when we're watching these shows. In the next scene, we see Laura and her friend Aisha working on a clothing line. And we see Laura making the comparison, a comparison uh, between her clothing line and Kanye West clothing line. That is young, fun, sassy, and classy. And that's what her clothing line is going to be. Well, we see a couple of samples of the clothes. And it all looks, yeah... It looks presentable. Like she said, it looks fun. Very colorful, very bold, and very present, very of now, very fashionable. So before the surprise trip that uh, Choma is going to organize, the ladies, not the ladies, Choma decided it would be a good idea if they had dinner. And all the ladies came through. Iyawa looked stunning in black. It was Japanese themed. But not only Iyawa. All the ladies came through. They all looked popping. They all looked the bomb. It was really beautiful to see. And this time, everything went flawless. No. It was a good vibe. So no. No extra ness. No, no, no. Everybody was acting accordingly was pleasant to be around. So if that's going to be the case, Choma's event will be a success. And then at the event, at the, the restaurant, Iabo decides um, to tell them all that she's not going to be able to attend the trip that Choma's going to organize, but that she will have a good time in Turkey and in London. So I'm sure we're going to see a little bit of uh, snippets of that trip. But in the meantime, everything went well this time around. So we see Laura in the car opening uh, the invitation that she got uh, from Choma to the surprise event. She's in the car with a friend. And then, um, I don't know what it is, but it seems like Laura always wants to um, open a negative way and then and it a, a positive way, but it's like a little bit backhanded. Um, I don't know what it is, but it, it, in her confessionals, it always seems like she's talking smack, but when she's actually in the presence of the ladies, then she wants to be cordial. That's also a little bit fake, but hey, it's Laura. So how do you feel at home about this? Do you think Laura is two-faced? What's your opinion about this? back and forth of Laura between acting friendly and then being catty as well. Is it just part of the show or is it just part of her shady character? Let us know in the comment section. We get introduced to Mariam Timmer. I'm not trying to brag, but I'm one of a kind. I love everything great as you can see. I'm very funny, I'm playful. You know, I'm a family woman. You know, I care for who I love. Um, she's not arrogant. She knows who she is. She knows where she stands for, but she's grounded. She appreciates her life, but she, she's also aware that all the other people in the city that she lives in, Lagos, makes it um, the city that it is and that you also have to make sure you have a good relation with them you never know what can happen so she knows it's good she knows it's good. very very clever very smart to have friends in every layer of the population Tiana and Miriam are friends so the ladies, the rest of the group is going to get introduced um, to Mariam by Tiana. What I can say about Tiana, she's very unproblematic, uh, very lovable. She minds her business. You know, she doesn't get into the drama with the ladies. She just tries to have a good time. 
let people see what she does. We see her, uh, you know, talking with Mariam, meeting Mariam uh, on the set of, I think her, I think the set, um, they're filming something for her birthday and she has this theme like uh, with ninjas, she's then uh, the ninja in all white and the villains have all black and you can already see that once the end product is finished it will really be interesting to see so yeah looking forward to that little project that Deanna has going on so when um, Mariam and Tiana talk with each other she's still a little bit um, insecure if the other ladies were like her but yeah, it doesn't matter um, if she will attend the event, she almost event anyway. So we go to the scene where they're at the airport. Laura comes in as uh, as, as first. He's, she's very enthusiastic. She really, she really wants to be there. She thinks this event will be fun. They're going to fly private to, uh, to Abuja. So Tiana comes in seconds and they're waiting, they're waiting, they're waiting, they're waiting for hours on the other ladies. And she's like, oh my God, it's so annoying. I hate waiting for other people. I think they were waiting for four or five hours. That's really long. And finally, the rest of the crew starts dribbling in. Correction, Choma and Carol showed up two hours late. So they have been on the private jet and fly to Abuja. All the ladies were super nervous. She almost someone when she's nervous, she rather not talk, but Laura was talking and talking just to get her attention after the situation. So they left in the Abuja and everybody sells in uh, to their room. Their pro plus ones um, go to the decide to go to the, the spaces that the four ladies of the cast are in and you know they're just catching up. And then later in the evening, they decided to organize a lingerie party with good food and games. I don't know what these ladies have with games, but the games that they usually play don't end well. Super shady and just stirring up, stirring up drama and mess. So that was it again for this week. I hope you enjoyed watching. See you next time. Thumbs up, like and subscribe. Thank you.